What's going on everyone? Model Deer Farmer back with you today on the YouTube channel here. Today we got something real special to take a look at. We got the 2025 Replicas and Toys John Deere Catalog from Ertl Tommy. So we're going to take a look at this thing today. We got lots of new stuff in here that's really exciting to see. So we're going to start off here. We're going to kind of take a look at the new stuff and um that we're just just the new stuff and then if you guys want to go see the rest of the stuff you can go ahead and head over to Ertl's website but first thing right inside the cover that's going to start us off here is the 132nd scale 8020 tractor so this is the Ertl 80th anniversary special edition um it's going to come out in January this year or January 2025 so not too far away and it's going to be designed to commemorate the 80th anniversary of Ertl Company. Tractor is constructed with die cast body configured with front and rear singles. Fixed to commemorative display base with Ertl 80th logo engraved insert. Uh, packaged in a special 80th Ertl 80th anniversary display box. 80 gold chrome chase units are randomly inserted into the production run. It's a one-time production while supplies last. That's looking like a pretty cool thing. I have an 8020 132nd scale tractor from way back when they did it originally. And it's pretty cool. I'd love to have another one. But moving down here, um, we'll, we'll kind of talk about, we'll say what we got in the lineup. But we won't like read all the details on it. We have the 3010 uh Diesel tractor with RW disc as a 116 scale precision heritage um, model here. We'll go ahead and move to the next page. And then over here, 116 scale prestige, we have something new. We have the Model B tractor with grain drill, and it's the 2025 Classic Green Reunion um, tractor. So it's going to be available March 2025, and uh, it's constructed with die-cast metal. The tractor is configured with narrow front axle and gas engine detail. The grain drill can hitch to the tractor and features opening panels. It's a one-time production run, so you got a picture of the drill there. you got the Model B right there. It's a pretty sweet-looking tractor. Pretty excited for that. Um, over here, more stuff in the 116th scale Prestige lineup. Uh, I feel like we've had these before, but they look about like the same thing. But the 116th scale 9R540 tractor um, in the 116th scale Prestige lineup, and it's going to be available in January 2025, and it's constructed with die-cast frame, drawbar, and wheels, configured with front and rear duals, features articulated frame, opening hood, and authentic-style rear drawbar. Opening left side cab door and clear cab windows reveal a detailed interior. Includes light detail and pivoting mirrors. Dusty painted chase units are randomly inserted. So you're going to be on the lookout for dusty painted chase units on those. And kind of about the same thing down here. But the 116 scale 9RX 540 tractor is also going to be available in January 2025. And it's constructed with die cast frame, drawbar, and track frames. Configured with front and rear tracks. Features articulated frame, opening hood, and authentic style rear drawbar. Uh, opening left side cab door and clear cab windows reveal a detailed interior. and includes light detail and pivoting mirrors. Uh, dusty pan and chase units are also randomly inserted. So you got your big horses there. Be on the lookout for those, especially with the chase units that they have. Moving over here, this is one of something that I'm really excited to see um, in the 116th scale prestige lineup. They... They've, they've been doing a lot of these recently. This is like the third different version in like the past year that they've made of this. But it's the 8300 tractor and it's going to be available November 2024. So literally within like a month you could be getting this thing. And uh, maybe it already is out. I'm not completely sure. But pretty close here pretty soon. And it's constructed with a die cast body, hood, individual front weights, um, front axle and wheels configured with rear duals and front fenders. Clear cab windows reveal a detailed interior. Um, features external mirrors, light details, and rear three-point hitch. So very nice looking tractor there. We'll move on to the 116th scale Prestige 730 tractor with heat hauser. 
This one's going to be available February 2025. It is constructed with die cast body and configured with roll o matic narrow front axle. Equipped with the weather brake heat hauser, features rear wheel weights, gas engine detail, pre cleaner, air cleaner, and detailed operator station. Three point hitch raises and lowers. So that's pretty cool there. You're going to get the heat hauser. Um, I, I, it's pretty cool to see one of those again. It's been a little while since we've got one. Moving down here to a couple items, that's pretty much all we got new for 116 scale prestige. Now we're going to get into what we've already had. We got the 4010 tractor with the 46A loader, uh, the John Deere 4430 tractor, the 1010 crawler, and then we'll move on here um, to some other items that we've had in the 116 scale lineup. We have the John Deere 7R330 tractor here. I don't believe this one has any chase units. It doesn't say anyways. Um, but we get down here, we got two 8Rs that do have both chase units. We got 8R310 right here. There's the normal one. And then you're going to have a silver painted chase unit. And then you got the 8R340 down here along with a dusty chase unit. So that's pretty cool to see there. A couple different options for you. Little different models depending on what you want. And then we also have the John Deere 9R640 tractor here. Um, we had the 540 before, this is the 640 now. So you got some options on model numbers, and that continues when we come over here. Because in the 116th scale lineup for Prestige, we have two 8RXs this year. We have the 8RX410 that has the 24-inch front tracks and 30-inch rear tracks. And then you ha also have the 8RX340 with 18 inch tracks so a couple different track widths and different horsepowers um, and then they are both going to be dusty chase units and then also down here into the 9RX 9RX 640 uh, so a big tractor there to I think that might round out your 116 scale prestige yes and that does and that gives us into the 132nd scale prestige lineup where we're going to see right off the bat the 132nd scale 9RX 770 whoa that's a little far in tractor um, and this one's going to be available January 2025 so you're not going to have to wait too long for this one but it's going to be constructed with die cast body and track frames frame articulates and oscillates and replicates 36 inch tracks on 120 inch spacing Clear cab windows reveal detailed interior, features realistic drawbar hitch, external mirrors, railings, and light details. So this is one of three versions of the new 9RX that Earl's going to be putting out this year. This is going to be the biggest one in the 132nd scale prestige lineup. Pretty cool to see. Looks like there's a good amount of detail throughout this tractor, so I'm pretty excited to see what these look like. Moving down here into more 136 scale prestige, we have a new 8R370 tractor. It's going to be available in December 2024, and it's constructed with a die cast body hood, front axle, and cab roof, configured with dual front and rear wheels, features clear cab windows, detailed interior, and soft field tires. Additional details include external mirrors and warning arms. So, got your 8R for your 132 scale farming operations there. And then that's going to take us into the items that we've already had in the past. We got the 7R330 right here, 8RX340, 9R640, 9RX640. Coming down here into what I love, the 9510RT and the 8430. And that, I don't think that rounds out. Nope, that does not round out our 132nd scale prestige. We got lots of 132nd scale prestige here. We have the... 4960 tractor which came out the middle of last year and the 4250 tractor as well as we're continuing with the x9 1000 combine and i believe that then does round out the 132nd scale and we're going to be going into 164 scale prestige collection where we're going to have a 164 scale cs 770 cotton stripper and cp 770 cotton picker 75th anniversary set this is going to be available in may 2025 these are the real units shown they don't have the prototypes done yet um this set commemorates the 75 years of john deere cotton pickers both units are constructed with die cast metal clear cab windows reveal detailed interiors opening rear bale chambers allow the cotton bale onto the unloading ramp the cotton stripper is equipped with shf 12f 
header that raises and lowers. Additional features that include external mirrors, railings, and light details. Set also includes two cotton bales with yellow wraps. So that's going to be pretty cool. Something that we haven't seen before, a lot of different kind of cotton pickers, and we're going to be getting that now. Now, here is the 164 scale Prestige uh, Big 9RX, and this one's going to be the big, massive 830 model. So it's going to be available January 2025, so not that far away. And it's going to be constructed with diecast body and track frames. Frame articulates and oscillates. Replicates 36-inch tracks on 120-inch spacing. Clear cab windows reveal detailed interior. Features realistic drawbar and hitch. External mirrors, railings, and light details. So that's looking pretty cool art right there. Really excited to see that. Another thing that is new for 2025, we have the 8R series tractor set. So in this tractor set, you're going to get an 8R. You're going to get an 8RX and an 8RT because they made those now. Um, and so this is going to be available as a set in March 2025. And the set includes all three current 8R configurations with an 8R340, 8RX340, and 8RT340. 340. Each item is constructed with die cast metal. Details include external mirrors, warning arms, and clear cab windows with detailed interiors. Three point hitches, raise and lower, packaged together in a window box. So that's a pretty cool set. I'd love to see if they're doing that. If I didn't already have all three of those tractors, I would probably get the set, but I pretty much already have all three of them. And a couple other new 164 scale prestige collection tractors here. We have the 8RT 370. Uh, it's the same casting as what would be the farm show from this year. Uh, this one's going to be available January 2025 and constructed with diecast body. Replicates John Deere's two track system with 18 inch tracks on 120 inch spacing. Uh, features three point hitch, front weights, external mirrors, grab railings, and rear warning arms. Clear cab windows reveal detailed interior. And then we also have the 8RX 370 over here, which is going to be available in March of 2025. And it's constructed with die cast body, configured with wide track spacing, features three point hitch, front weights, external mirrors, um, grab railings, and rear warning arms. Clear cab windows reveal a detailed interior. Uh, it says front weights, so maybe we will be getting front weights on it, potentially. Maybe, unless they wrote it wrong. But. Got some good looking tractors throughout here, the 164 scale Prestige, everything you could possibly want. Now moving on here, we do have one more new item in the 164 scale Prestige collection, and my computer doesn't want to go over any farther. Whoa, that was a little insane. Um, so our last new item here in the 164 scale Prestige is the... 164 scale S680 combine. My computer is being a little bit slow and laggy tonight. I don't know why. Um, but the S680 combine, it's going to be available March 2025. Similar casting as the 780 that came out last year. It's actually the uh, same thing, and the original one was a 680 like 10 years ago. So, um, like I said, March 2025, constructed with die cast body configured with front duals features opening cab door opening right side body panel steerable rear wheels pivoting unloading auger details include cab mirrors lights and railings feeder housing raises and lowers and includes the 640 fd grain head and 616 corn head um i think the bottom of this corn head looks a little weird right there i feel like we're kind of missing something personally um, but otherwise, pretty great looking combine. Uh, I, I hope that they do the font up here right because on the 700, the font looks terrible. Please do the right font on the 600. That'd be awesome. Moving into the rest of the stuff in the 164 scale prestige, we have the S780 track combine, the 612R sprayer, the STS12 sprayer. And we wanted to go to the next page for some reason. We have the... CP770 uh, that came out the middle of last year, Cotton Picker. We also have the CH950 Sugar Cane Harvester, the 8760 tractor with the Dusty Chase unit, the 8400 tractor, which I think looks absolutely awesome, and the 7R330 tractor. So, nothing new throughout there. And we got a couple more things to finish it out in the 164 scale prestige lineup. 9R640 tractor, 9RX640, 
X9 1100 track combine, and then you got the X9 1100 with wheels. So that's going to round out your 164 scale prestige. Let's get into our 116th scale replica line where we have three new items at least. I don't remember if there's any on the next page. We have the 7260R tractor, which is going to be available January 2025, and it's constructed with die cast body and cab frame. Features steerable front axle, rear hitch will allow most 116 scale implements to attach. So pretty cool to see one of these older tractors come back, especially a 7R where we don't normally see too many 7Rs. Um, and then also new this year, XUV 835R Gator in 116 scale replica. That's pretty cool. And it's going to be available in March 2025 and is constructed with die cast metal, dump box raises and lowers, and the tailgate opens. We haven't seen a Gator in a while, so that's pretty cool to see. 116 scale 637 flex full disc in the 116 scale replica lineup. It's going to be available in May 2025 and is constructed with die cast metal, right and left wings, fold up and down, and will attach to most 116 scale tractors. Now, this is what I find interesting. This used to be a big farm uh, piece, which big farm is all plastic. They say it's die cast now. So, it sounds like this whole thing is going to be die cast, which is pretty cool. And it does look like we have a few more 116 scale replica new items. We have the 116 scale late style G tractor that's going to be available in May 2025 and is constructed with die cast body, wide front axle, and steering wheel. We have the John Deere Model 60 tractor with the FFA logo that's going to be available in January 2025 and is in only US and Canada only and is constructed with die cast body, wide front axle, and steering wheel decorated with the FFA logo on the side. And our last new item in the 116th scale replica lineup is the John Deere 330 utility tractor. It's going to be available in January 2025 and is constructed with die cast metal, configured with wide front axle and single rear wheels. Now into our items that we're keeping around. We got the 520 tractor with FFA logo, 2010 tractor with FFA logo, 730 with the barge wagon. Um, over on the other side here, we have the 3010 tractor, uh, the 2520 diesel tractor, the Celebration 3020 tractor, the 4320 tractor, as well as the 4020 Happy Birthday tractor. So, lots of old iron there for you if that's what you're interested in. Whole two pages of them right there, so that's all looking real nice. And now moving on here to the next page. We got the 2640 Field of Dreams tractor that we're keeping around, and then the 116 scale 561 round baler, X384 lawnmower, the 5125R tractor with loader, 1590 no-till drill, 2038 tractor with loader, and that will be it for 116 scale replica. With that, we'll move into the 132nd scale replica, where we have one new item, which is going to be the 132nd scale 7R310 tractor. It's going to be available in February 2025 and is measuring over 6 inches long. This tractor is configured with front weights, steerable MFWD axle, clear cab windows, and a cab interior. And so that's going to be a new 7R. We haven't had 7R in a while, so pretty cool to see that. Would have maybe liked to see duels on the back, but that's my personal opinion. Now for the items we're keeping around, we're going to keep around the 6R165 that came out last year, the 8R370, the 9R540, the 6410 with barge, wagon, and disc, the 9430, and the 8760, which both look really good, 4240, and the 4020 with tractor with cab, and you got your 561 round baler, which is about our only implement in the 132nd scale world, like ever. But that takes us right into 164 scale replica lineup. And that, with that, we're going to see our third and final 9RX of the catalog um, of the big ones. So we got the 164 scale 9RX 710, whoa, 710 tractor. It's going to be available May 2025 and is constructed with die cast body and track frames. Uh, frame articulates and oscillates, replicates 36 inch tracks on 120 inch spacing. Clear cab windows reveal detailed interior. You get the point on this tractor already. It's like the same throughout all the different versions. It has just a different number slapped on the side, pretty much. And this one doesn't have some of the fancy details like the other one has. But still good, especially if you're wanting that replica play type thing instead of prestige. 
couple other new items, though, that we have is the 4020 tractor with the FFA logo, which I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it's going to be available in March 2025, and it's only in U.S. and Canada. Constructed with die-cast body, hood, and cab. FFA logo printed on cab roof. Hitch will allow most 164 scale implements to attach, so that's pretty cool. Um, something, just a nice older tractor here. We got new 2025, the 4950 track. 4955 tractor it's going to be available in December 2024 and is constructed with die cast body, hood, and cab. Clear cab windows hitch will allow most 164 scale implements to attach. So, just kind of a nice older tractor there that we get, which is pretty sweet. Kind of finishing out some of the new items here in 164 scale replica. We have the John Deere Parts Semi, which is going to be available in December of 2024. And it's got the right part, right price, right away along the side. So a decent looking semi truck there. This one down here, though, is what draws my attention. We get the 164 scale 612 R sprayer with semi and trailer. It's going to be available in May 2025. And sprayer features unfolding booms and hinged ladder. Rear boom raises and lowers. Semi truck decorated with John Deere graphics. 612 R sprayer configured with large tires. That's what I like there. Some different tires on this sprayer compared to the normal one. We get big, wide tires on this thing. That looks pretty good on that machine. I think it'll look pretty sweet. So, that is going to do it though for new things on the 164 scale replica side. So, now we move into what we're keeping around. We get the 164 scale vintage 7720 combine harvesting set. The 8320R tractor with JM grain cart, which has been around since like 2009. We have the 7215R and 1590 no till drill. The 8320R with 637 disc set. Um, we'll go on to the next page here. Still some very nice items that we're keeping around here. We got the 7R270 tractor with C500 mower. The 561R round baler, W260R windrower, W235R windrower haying set with the tractor and baler and the hay rake and some bales. The X9 1100 combine harvesting set with the combine, tractor, and grain cart, um, and the semi. We got the 9RX 590 scraper special, scraper special tractor with 1812DC scrapers. We got the 164 scale pickup and trailer with round bales, Hagee STS 12 sprayer with semi and low boy trailer. The 164 scale 612R sprayer, the 164 scale Hagee STS 12 sprayer. The 164 scale 8RX 410 tractor with 1775 planter. And then moving into our last couple pages here, I believe, we have the John Deere 6030 tractor, 8300 tractor with FFA logo, 7730 tractor with FFA logo, 9510RT, 7260R with loader, 7R330, um, 8RX 410, 8RX 340 happy birthday tractor, 8R370, the 9610 combine. Uh, the 8R410, 8R340, 9R540, 9RX590, Freightliner Semi with X9 Combine Graphics Trailer, and the X9 1000 Combine. And I believe that is, no, we got one more page. We got the S780 Combine with Semi and Lowboy Trailer, the 6210R with uh, 338 Baler, Bale Wagon, and 6 Bales. And then the 164 scale 8600 self-propelled forage harvester, which I'm kind of surprised that they haven't updated this to like 9000 series forage harvester, to be completely honest, because this has been around forever. 164 scale semi and grain trailer. And that brings to my attention here, the long time running, very common John Deere 7270R 164 scale tractors come to an end will no longer have the 7270R. So, that was just like a really common tractor, but that's gonna be gone now. Moving over here into the 150th scale construction equipment, new items, we got the 1050K do Dozer. Um, it's gonna be available in fe February 2025, constructed with die cast body, hood, and cab. Features movable front blade, rear ripper, rolling die cast tracks, and opening engine doors that reveal the engine detail. Charcoal chrome chase painted units uh, are randomly inserted into the production run. So you got that as well there. 150th scale E145 
P tier excavator is also new this year, uh, available February 2025, and is constructed with diecast body, cab, boom arm, frame, and tracks. Features working boom arm, pivoting bucket, rotating body, and rolling tracks. Additional features include grab rails, cab mirrors, and light details. That's it for new stuff on the construction side. Stuff we're keeping around is the ADT 460E2 uh, dump truck, the 772P tier motor grader, um, as well as the 544P tier wheel loader, 944X tier wheel loader, P 320P tier backhoe loader, uh, the 768 to bogey skitter, the 843 um two wheeled feller buncher the 948 two grapple skitter the 345p tier excavator the 210 l 210g lc excavator the 870p tier excavator the 470g lc excavator um as well as over on the replica play side the 150 scale 330g p tier skid steer loader and the on the 116th scale side the 318 e skid steer loader and back over on the 150th scale side the 35 g excavator and on the 164th scale side the 320 g skid steer and that is going to round it out we, there is big farm stuff nothing new in big farm this year so if you kind of want to take a look for that yourself go ahead and head over to Ertl's website under the catalogs tab where you can see this whole catalog out and um, take a little closer look on what you guys are interested in. Lots of good stuff this year. Um, the only thing that I can really say is something that's kind of missing from the lineup here would be the new S7 series combines. Maybe we will get that as a farm show model this coming year, but I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But catalog is looking pretty sweet so far. Pretty excited for some of these new items, and I hope you guys are too. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a like. Also, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, we are on the race to 3,000 subscribers, and we are almost there. We're like 15 away. So hit that subscribe button. doesn't cost you anything. It just helps me out. And um, if you have any comments or questions, leave those down in the comment section below. I'd love to answer your questions. Hope you guys all have a great day, and I will see you all in the next one.